in this lecture we are trying to find out the pedal equation of spiral and the equation of spiral is given by r this is equal to a sec hyperbolic area okay this equation to be transferred to the pedal equation which is given in the form 1 by p square this is equal to a by r square plus b we have to find the pedal equation in this form this is the general form and we have to find out the constant a and b for the pedal equation of spiral okay this is looks like very easy problem but this is not solved in usual manner okay this is different type of problem and here we use three important problem the first two are r d theta dr this is equal to tan theta sorry tan phi and p this is equal to r sin phi these two are most important result of differential calculus we already quote in the previous video and description box this link are given okay and also we use in this problem this property of hyperbolic function this is cos hyperbolic square theta minus sin hyperbolic square theta is equal to 1 okay now go to the problem we first take logarithm on both sides that is we get log r this is equal to log a into sec hyperbolic n theta okay so sorry this is a into sec hyperbolic n theta that is we write log a plus log sec hyperbolic n theta now differentiating both sides with respect to theta we get 1 by r b r d theta this is equal to 0 because a is constant and the derivative of this is given by plus 1 by sec hyperbolic n theta and the derivative of sec hyperbolic n theta is minus tan hyperbolic n theta sec hyperbolic n theta into the derivative of n theta this is equal to n now sec hyperbolic n theta sec hyperbolic n theta cancel out and now we use this result r d theta dr this is equal to tan phi so 1 by r d theta dr this is equal to cot phi okay this is the result number 1 and the right side is minus n this is sin hyperbolic n theta by cos hyperbolic n theta and this result can be written as this is cos phi by minus n sin hyperbolic n theta and this is sin phi by cos hyperbolic n theta and this can be equal to root under cos square phi plus sin square phi by root under this is n square sin hyperbolic square n theta plus cos hyperbolic square n theta okay so we get this is 1 by root under we put the value of sin hyperbolic square n theta this is given by cos hyperbolic square n theta minus 1 this is equal to sin hyperbolic square n theta and we use the third result here so we get n square into cos hyperbolic square n theta minus 1 plus cos hyperbolic square n theta and now from the given equation that is the equation of spiral gives set hyperbolic set hyperbolic n theta this is equal to r by a so it is clear that cos hyperbolic n theta this is equal to a by r so we put the value of cos hyperbolic n theta and getting the result as 1 by root under n square into this is given by a square by r square minus 1 plus a square by r square so from this relation we get sin phi what is sin phi sin phi is cos hyperbolic n theta by root under 
this term this is equal to 1 by this so we get we take common a square by r square from this term and this term and getting the result as a square by r square into n square minus 1 sorry n square plus 1 minus n square ok now put the value of cos hyperbolic n theta which is given by a by r so we get a by r by root under a square by r square into n square plus 1 minus n square now we apply here the second result this is also a very important result this is p equal to r sin pi so p square this is equal to r square sin square pi and this gives 1 by p square this is equal to 1 by r square into 1 by sin square pi and we get sin square pi is this so 1 by sin square pi this is given by 1 by r square into the upper term is this a square by r square into n square plus 1 minus n square by upper term is a square by r square ok and cancel out r square r square from here and getting the result as 1 by p square this is equal to r square r square cancel out so we get in two term a square a square also cancel out so we get n square plus 1 by r square from the first term and the, from the second term we get minus n square by a square ok now we have to find the value of capital A and capital B so we get the value of capital A this is equal to n square plus 1 and the value of capital B capital B this is equal to minus n square by a square ok so we find out the pedal equation of the spiral which is given by 1 by b square this is equal to a by r square plus b where a and b are given by this two result ok this is very very important problem of pedal equation thank you